Hi, it's Lindley Oz, and please help support my ministry by visiting my sponsors at GetTheTea.com. Check out all of Ronnie's health products and order some today. Find the ones that work for you or that might be something that helps a problem you're having or whether it's for daily maintenance. Check out GetTheTea.com and make sure that you mention that you heard about Ronnie and GetTheTea.com from Lynn Liaz. Your support is greatly appreciated. And you know, whether you're trying to just do regular maintenance on your health or you're battling illness, you can never go wrong by taking care of your body. God gave us this one body to have here on this earth while we're here. And we also know that great things are getting ready to happen. And there is just a lot of stress. As soon as we move forward in one area, there seems to always be something else waiting for us that takes up our time, our mind, and everything. So as you trust in the Lord to fight your battles for you, take care of the body that God gave you. Visit GetTheTea.com today. Check out Ronnie's products. And again, make sure you mention that you heard about his products from Lynn Lee Oz. Thanks and God bless Hi, you. Hi, this is Lynn Liaz and I have Charles with Noble Gold with me today. We're sitting here recording while everybody's probably rushing outside to look at the solar eclipse. And uh, all the little uh, glasses, the special glasses that they have for people to view the solar eclipse with. There's none anywhere to be found around here because it's just such a big deal this year. You can't find them at the library because uh, the kids were wanting to get some. And we couldn't find them anywhere. So I guess this is a big deal. In fact, such a big deal that on the Economic Collapse blog today, it was posted that the Dow falls 274 points as the eclipse fever hits the financial markets. Charles, what uh, what's your opinion on that? It's interesting. And, and the eclipse is interesting as well. Uh, you know, as we mentioned, that's those are typically markers. Um, not harbingers, um, but but I think you know this market uh, likes to make excuses whenever there's a, a little bit of a pullback, and, and I think the the uh, the blame is being placed on the eclipse when the reality is it's the market itself that is is in trouble, and and we're seeing um, a lot of weakness, and I think we will see a, a tremendous amount of a correction coming, uh, and it's hard to predict when. Um, maybe a month, month and a half from now, maybe a couple months, but we'll see some form of a big movement, and and, uh, and it's not because of the eclipse. Um, but you're right; those those glasses are very hard to find. Uh, we had to, I, I had to go and uh, show my kids how to make it out of the old cereal boxes, um, like we used to do. <laughs> yeah, I had to look up on Consumer Reports. It tells you how to make your own out of aluminum foil in this uh, this type of card material but i don't know i don't know that it's safe necessarily it just seems uh, too risky and they also had a recall on a bunch of the glasses too um, in this area i don't know if it was all over the nation but there was a huge recall because the maker of this particular type that that, that was sent out to mass places like libraries and so forth could not confirm that they were safe so they recalled them. Right. <laughs> so risky business, but um, nonetheless, yeah, you were talking about the economy and the economy uh, is supposed to, according to history, collapse sometime soon. What this year, next year, people are really uh, have been talking about that for a while now. And I don't think people are prepared for what's coming. And I just uploaded a couple of videos from a gentleman I've had on. And he's really warning people that God's judgment is upon us. And so we have this solar eclipse. And then, of course, we have um, this whole September 23rd ordeal with this alignment of the stars. And then there's 40 days in between and just a lot of weird stuff. I mean, I have to admit a lot of it is uncannily uh, strange, but I definitely think God is trying to to warn us of his coming judgment. What do you think? Yeah, and and I, I think you're right. And, 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 and that's the great thing. You know, we, we have such an amazing God that he does give us warnings. He gives people every opportunity to get their life straight, you know? Um, and, and that's the ultimate sign of a loving father. 
Um, but yes, there are warnings, and, and I think that we need to heed them. Um, you know, I, I often get posed the question is if, if I'm raptured up, you know, why do I need to worry about my money or why should I worry about precious metals? And for me, you know, stewardship's important. And if I'm not here anymore, that money's irrelevant to me. But there are people who may not make it in the rapture. And it's going to be beneficial for them, you know. So for me, it, it's always been a matter of um, making sure that you help others come to the Father, you know. And, and that's part of what we do. I mean, we take an economic stance here as a business. But when you and I talk, this is you and I talking. This is not so much just business. And I get to, you know, um, you know, share my, my, my personal walk with Christ. Um, so for me, that gift will help others who may not have been prepared to begin with, but it may give them the advantage afterwards. So, uh, you know, for those people who say, why should I worry? Me, that's why I do it. Yes, and I don't encourage people to worry, and I know you don't either, but we are supposed to be concerned and be prepared for stuff. And I believe those of us who know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are to warn the people who either are living in a state of unrepentance or don't know the Lord at all, because they do have a reason to worry. They're going to be caught off guard. And all sorts of things are going to happen. In fact, um, I had read an article. It was from Ann Graham Lotz. And um, mm. she had put out a little article. It said, is God's judgment coming to America? And then the verse that is posted is Joel 231. The sun will be turned to darkness before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And then there's a picture, of course, and I'm sure most all of you listening have seen the picture of the United States of America and the path of this eclipse cutting America in half. And um, she writes that a few years ago she was teaching through the book of Joel when the ancient words of his prophecy came up off the page. I knew with hair raising certainty that God's severe judgment was coming on America. I have taught Joel several times since. Each time has served to confirm with deep conviction that God is warning America of impending disaster and destruction. And I know here lately the Lord's been giving me Ezekiel and Jeremiah. I have some very close Christian friends who do hear from the Lord, and God has been speaking to them as well. And so I can't urge people enough that it's time to repent and get right with the Lord and to prepare yourselves. Now, I urge everybody first and foremost to get yourself spiritually prepared. Make sure you're right with the Lord and ask him to reveal your heart to you. But I also urge people to prepare physically. And for those of you out there, I have a lot of pre-trib, um, pre-trib believers you know, who say, well, why do I need to worry? Well, we don't know what things are going to happen prior to the rapture. You know, there are going to be birth pains. And also, what about the people that are left behind? What are they going to do? And many of us have loved ones that are going to be here. Are we not concerned for them? So, Charles, that being said, I would love for you to share with my listeners what it is that Noble Gold provides people that can help them prepare um, for the things that are coming. I'd love to. You know, we believe in physical metals, physical, tangible metals. That is the basis of protection for what you've accumulated. Um, we can help you with your IRAs, take it out of the stock market, out of the, uh, um, the mutual funds or the annuities that you're in, and put it in something tangible, something that can't be controlled, something that is physical. And, and as we deal with these scenarios where, you know, those who are left behind won't have access to regular funding. These are the things that will help create uh, an economy outside of um, the mark, outside of banking. Um, so these are going to be important for those that things that are, for those of uh, uh, of our family and our friends who who don't make it, you know, who don't make it in the rapture. Um, but even besides that, with the market being what it is, you've worked very hard and and 
I'm very similar to, to, to your listeners, and, and we're savers by nature. We don't go out and spend money we don't have, and we don't even spend all the money that we do have. We put money away. We save. We help others. There's no reason for that to be decimated by a stock market that has no choice but to correct. Uh, it, it needs to correct just, correct just historically um, based on the numbers that are out there. Uh, and then when we figure in, you know, God's wrath and, and God's promise of what we'll see. We know it's bound to happen. So why lose that value when you don't need to? You know, we are stewards of what we're given. And part of that is making sure that it's there. So this is what we help people with. We help you convert um, the IRAs you may have, the annuities, uh, cash that you have sitting in the bank outside of what's necessary for the day-to-day -day transactions. Uh, and, and put it into precious metals. Get that ultimate hedge against the, the system. And, and that's really what we do. I've got a team here that's fantastic. If you have questions, give us a call. They can help you with the process. They can answer your questions. Um, but this is what Noble Gold's purpose is. So I just want to let people know, and most of you who watch me regularly are already aware that Charles is my sponsor. And I love Charles and what he does because he is a Christian and he knows about Bible prophecy and he is awake to what's happening. And, you know, by by doing business with Charles, you're uh, supporting the Lynn Lee Oz ministry. So you're helping me. And like I said, I'm very selective about who my sponsors are, just as I'm sure Charles is selective about who he sponsors. But um, I'm very pleased that I, God has blessed me with a Christian sponsor who does genuinely care about people. And he shared um, some of his uh, testimonies in uh, a few videos ago when we recorded. And he just has a great love for the Lord. And that's very important. It's important to me and to what I do because I want God to bless the Lindley Oz ministry. And so I'm happy to have Charles as my sponsor. And I just encourage all of you to to start getting prepared for these things because time is short and there are just too many people out there who have an urgency in their heart and in their spirit that something's going to happen and i don't know when but this urgency that most of us have i'm sure you have it too charles it's like this soon i don't know what soon is to god exactly soon could be next year or year after that i don't know but I feel like sooner than that, but, but who knows? I just, uh, I feel like it's time for people to really start telling more people about Jesus because time is short. It's time for those of us living in sin to repent for it and get right. And it's time for those of us who don't know Jesus to seek after him because he will reveal himself to you and ask him to be the Lord and Savior of your life. Charles, do you have any, any thoughts on what I've just said. Absolutely. Well, I, I do want to say that, you know, we are extremely blessed to be able to be your sponsor because as a company, you know, we do business. And, and if we find a way that we can promote God's word being shared, we have to do that. It, it's just who we are. We, we have no choice but to do that. So you've been an amazing blessing to us for us to be able to to know that we're, we're helping um, God's ministry get shared. It's an amazing feeling for us. Um, again, when we talk about coming soon, we don't know the day. And you know what? We don't want to know the day. Because what we need is that fire to know that it is soon so that we can go out and be energized on a day-to-day -day basis and make sure God's word gets shared to those who need it. If we knew an absolute day, people would start to schedule their time. I'll start ministry next month. I have time. But I think the not knowing is so important for us because it gives us that fire. We can all feel it. It's soon. When? We don't know. But we don't need to know. What we need to know is there are people who still need God's message. So we need to take that energy and we need to take that fire and, and we need to use it. And we need to fuel ourselves and make sure that we get that word out. Amen, Charles. You couldn't be more right in what you're saying. Uh, we need to really uh, just start taking every opportunity we can to tell people about Jesus. You know, how many times do we go to the grocery store and we get agitated because somebody 
uh, is in our way or someone seems rude to us. But in truth, we don't know what kind of day that person has had. Maybe they just lost a loved one. Maybe they're getting ready to lose a loved one. Maybe they've got a grandchild in the hospital or they're, uh, they're about to get divorced with their spouse. Or maybe they're abused by their spouse or by someone who knows. But um, we never know what's on the other side of a person's heart, the part that we don't see, but God does. So just pray every day when you wake up, Lord, if there's somebody I'm supposed to be a witness to today or that you want me to bless, show me and speak to me. And he will, because there's a right time for everything. And, and there are times though, you're going to tell people about Jesus and you get just downright rejected. And then you might walk away thinking, well, Lord, I thought you wanted me to talk to this person. And what, what's up with that, Lord? Well, let me tell you this. You've planted a seed. I can't tell you how many times in my life that somebody witnessed to me when I was younger and then something happened years later and I remembered what that person said years prior. So when you witness to somebody, even if they reject you, you've planted a seed and God's going to use that at some point in their life. Maybe when they're going through something, they're going to remember what you said to them. And then that seed is going to take root and begin to grow. So that's very important. Um, anyhow, um, I just want to encourage everybody again, first and foremost, repent, get right with the Lord, tell more people about Jesus. And also, um, the link will be posted, as I said, right below the video. Um, go check out Noble Gold. And if you have any questions, like I said, there's people there to answer your questions and to help you and to explain things. And you can also email them, but take time to at least look into it and check it out. Um, so that way you can take care of you and your family when stuff does happen. Cause we don't know when these things are going to happen as Charles here just pointed out. So Charles, do you have any final thoughts or words to share with the listeners? My final thoughts would uh, be blessed today and also be a blessing today. Amen. Amen. I'm with you on that. So everybody out there from Charles and myself, Lynn Liaz, be blessed and keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. He loves you and he's with you each and every step of the way. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Even when you feel most alone, just keep your eyes on Jesus. So thanks again, Charles. And I hope that you have a uh, really awesome rest of the day and that maybe you might get to go check out the eclipse and get some of those freaky looking glasses on or something, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we may make a chance to, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how busy we get. <laughs> well, God bless you, Charles. And thank you so much for taking time to uh, meet with me here and, and send your message out to my listeners. I appreciate it. My pleasure. And God bless you as well. Lynn. thank you. God bless you.